This conference will now be recorded. Welcome to DevOps training. This is Shadhavat. I'm a software consultant and corporate trainer. In this session, I want to continue Ansible Tower. So far, we have used multiple use cases related to Ansible. Like we have discussed about installation and configuration about Ansible. We have discussed about uh, prerequisites like a passwordless SSH in Ansible. We have discussed about ad hoc commands to fast and quick works. We have discussed about playbooks to write down in YAML format. And we have discussed about uh, control server and report servers. We have discussed about, you know, Ansible world for security perspective. And in this session, I want to discuss about Ansible Tower, which is UI based graphical user interface. And I want to go for my personal notes first, and then we'll discuss about hands on and practical related to Ansible Tower. First, we need to understand what is Ansible Tower. And after that, we'll move forward to the hands-on and practical. So let me go back to my personal notes this time. Let's understand about Ansible Tower. Red Hat acquire Ansible. We already discussed about this. Let me go ahead and discuss about managing Ansible with Red Hat Ansible Tower. Introduction to Red Hat Ansible Tower. The purpose of Red Hat Ansible Tower we'll discuss here. This module explains use cases, features and architecture of Red Hat Ansible Tower. We already work with control as well as remote servers. This is related to Ansible concepts and architecture. A control node is installed with Ansible and is used to run playbooks. We know well about playbook. Playbook is a YAML scripting. Contains the Ansible engine software and the playbook it supporting materials. Red Hat Ansible Tower is a control node that also provides a central web interface. Central web interface. I want to focus you here. Red Hat Ansible Tower is a control node that also provides a central web interface. Authentication and API for Ansible. API stands for Application Programming Interface, which is used to communicate application to application or service to service. Then Manage Host, also known as Remote Servers in our case. A managed host is a machine that is managed by Ansible Automation. Does not have Ansible installed. If you don't have Ansible on your control node, no problem. You can proceed with Ansible tab. Does not need to be configured to allow Ansible to connect to host. And maybe in list in our inventory means if you are going to install ansible tower you will find multiple directories inside and files inside one of file will be inventory file or generated by the dynamic inventory script or plugin let's understand about the red hat ansible tower red hat ansible tower help to you control secure centrally manage Ansible automation can be can be your authoritative control node in a run playbooks has a web based user interface web based user interface so far we have worked with the CLI command line interface in most of the company preferred CLI but if you don't have a much experience in CLI or command or Linux commands, no problem. You can proceed with Ansible Tower. 
has a web-based user interface and RESTful API. RESTful API means communication, securely communication from application to application. RESTful API, application programming interface. User with no Linux experience, if you don't have much experience in a Linux or CLI, you can proceed with Ansible or Tower. So user with no Linux experience can be used web-based UI, user interface, to easily run Ansible. Different users have different levels of access to playbooks, hosts, and authentication credentials. Allow central tracking and logging of automation jobs. Makes it easy to manage and use a different version of playbooks under a version control system. Why use Ansible Tower? Ansible Tower is used for central location to run Ansible help ensure consists playbook operations. Centralized control node also help low automations events and track successfully successful and the failed runs. Central management feature helps maintain security by protecting secrets and credentials. Used to access manage host or perform sensitive operations. User management and permission control who can run playbooks and modify settings. It's REST API, which is, you know, securely communications on the internet. It's REST API enable easy integration with your existing workflow and tool sets. This is architecture, Ansible Tower architecture. If you'll focus here, this detail is related to Ansible Tower. We already work with Ansible playbooks with the help of commands, with the help of uh, scripting. So this part we already done, Ansible playbooks, Ansible CLI or CI system, command line interface. We are going this time for Ansible Tower, which is easy for the users simple user interface and we can manage here role based access control knowledge and visibility scheduled centralized job and tower api application programming interface we are going for first with you know single nodes with the database and here are use cases this is for Ansible, it is an open source module library, but no need to install Ansible if you are going for Ansible Tower. Once you are going to install and set up Ansible Tower, Ansible will be installed. And plugin, which extend the functionality for the Ansible. Ansible written on a Python programming language. So Python packages will be installed on your control node. Automate your Enterprise. Enterprise means a big operate, big companies for infrastructure, Linux, Windows, or Unix, and a networking, containers, cloud services. These all are the use cases. You can provisions and configure. You can deploy your application for continuous delivery and security and compliance, and then orchestrations multiple things you can run in a one glance in a complex infrastructure environment. Let me go ahead this time and show you how you can set up your Ansible tower or you can say installation and configuration. I am going for next PPT which is related to the installation and configuration. Let's understand how you are going to install your Ansible Tower on your, you know, on-premise environment or your workstations or in your cloud virtual machines. So you can set up your Ansible Tower in any environment. 
as I already said, in a workstation. Workstation means your laptop or desktop, or you can go ahead with your on premise server, means your company server, or you can set up on a cloud environment. In our case, we are discussing about AWS Cloud. So, most of the time, I will go to AWS Virtual Machines. Let's understand how we will install and set up Ansible Tower. This is related to installation and management. We are going for install Red Hat Ansible Tower in a single server configuration. Multiple use cases are available in the market. Installation architecture options. Red Hat Ansible Tower can be implemented using one of the following architectures. First one, single machine with single integrated database. I will go for this use case. Second, single machine with remote databases. Next, multi machines cluster with remote database. Then OpenShift pod with remote database. This class uses a single node installation with integrated database. Need a system installed with Linux. Either bare metal means your you know, on-premise, uh, your workstations, or you can go to the virtual machine, or you can go to the cloud instance. I want to go for Red Hat and Ed version. So Red Hat Enterprise Linux or CentOS 7.4 or later you can go. So I want to go for Red Hat 8. And we required two CPUs, 4 GB RAM, at least 40 GB storage for Ansible Tower. These are all the prerequisites. In our case, we are going for Amazon AWS EC2. So you have to launch M4 large instances. If you are going through this hands-on and practical, maybe Amazon will prepare a bill for you or invoice for you so amazon consumes some amount for this hands-on and practical you can get evolutions copy of red Hat ansible automation platform which include red Hat ansible tower from the red Hat. so you can go to this url http colon https colon double forward slash www.ansible.com tower hyphen trial and re-download software from this link https colon double forward slash releases dot ansible dot com ansible hyphen tower so i want to show you these links first i'm just going to copy this link let me go ahead with new incognito window I'm going ahead with new incognito window this time. Let me go ahead here. So you have to start your trial. Try Red Hat Ansible automation platform. Here you have to go. And you have to follow these steps. Get it started and login and trial success. I already done these steps. Let me go to my case. I'm going to paste here this URL and let me proceed. You need an account in a Red Hat. You need to sign up your account in a Red Hat first and you can go ahead. I already signed up my account in a Red Hat. I'm going to click on, you know, start your trial. And you have to provide your registered email address with Red Hat Enterprise, Red Hat account. So in my case, I want to proceed with my shadab akhtar97 at the red gmail.com. Let me go to the next. And I have to provide my super secret password here. I'm going to click on login. I 
I'm gonna click on never and it is showing here you know your product trials has started you are, have been 59 days left to try Ansible automation if you want to download go ahead and start the download now as I already said that you required you required uh, account in Red Hat first now it is taking time if you focus it is showing here um, in the right hand side upper corner you can see Ansible automation platform set bundle hyphen 2.3 hyphen 2 tart dot cz so this is the bundle okay let me go to the next this is related to the releases i'm just going to copy this link and let me place in a new incognito window url uh, browser here is the releases so these links is important i'm just going to copy these links and save in my browsers so it will be helpful i'm just going to save here i'm going to press enter and i'm going to save i'm just going to click on and i will save We'll use further these links. Okay, let me go ahead next. Two different installation packages are available for Red Hat Ansible Tower. First one is standard setup https colon double forward slash releases dot ansible dot com ansible tower setup. Requires internet connectivity to download Red Hat and Ansible Tower packages for various packages, package repositories. Second, bundle installer. HTTPS colon double forward slash releases dot ansible dot com ansible tower setup bundle. Include an initial set of RPM packages for Red Hat Ansible Tower may be installed on your system and disconnected from the internet. So you can use these bundle in further use. After install your bundle, after install a bundle, for example, you are going to, uh, you know, official uh, site and you are going to download bundle. Once you download a bundle, in this case it is showing Ansible hyphen tower setup hyphen bundle 3.6.2 hyphen 1 tar.zz. And then you can extract the archive file on your Linux system. Tar zxf zzip extract file flags and this is Ansible tower bundle in a tar.zz. And after that, unpack directory you will find inventory file inside set up your admin password will be used for admin user to log in and set the pg password and rabbit mq password and run the installed script the unpacked directory dot forward slash setup dot sh this shell script you will find in this bundle not only this shell script and inventory, you will find multiple directories and files. Once you will done these steps, as the root user download the Red Hat Ansible Tower Setup Bundle, extract the Ansible Tower Setup Bundle and then change the directory containing the extract contents. So first you have to extract, then you have to go inside that bundle and then install data tower and you have to set a password edit the inventory file whatever uh, you know uh, editor you can use vi editor nano editor vm editor whatever you are familiar edit the inventory file to set password for the ansible tower admin account 
If you will focus here, this is related to inventory file configuration, inventory configuration files. So if you will focus showing here admin password, you have to set admin password. Second, you have to set PG password. And then you have to set rabbit and you password. These three password you have to set. As mentioned here, admin password, the PostgreSQL database, user account, PG password, and the, the Rabbit MQ message user account. Once you will complete these steps, means you set up your password inventory, and after that you can use shell script with pseudo privileges if you will focus here it is showing hash prompt or pound sign and if you are not a root then uh, maybe you can face issue so either you can use a sudo command or you can switch to the root and you have to run shell script dot forward slash setup dot sh After the installer finishes successfully, connect to Ansible Tower system with a web browser. Log into Ansible Tower web UI and Ansible Tower administrator admin using a password you set for admin password in installer inventory file. When logging into the Ansible Tower web UI for first time, you are prompt to enter a license and accept the end user license agreement. Enter the Ansible Tower license provided by Red Hat, accept the end user license agreement and Red Hat Ansible Tower dashboard should be displayed. Okay, let me complete this hands-on and practical. I'm just going back to, okay, rest of the thing we'll discuss later, means uh, this is the first dashboard related to Ansible Tower. We'll discuss later about these things. I'm just going to going back and I will show you how you are going to install and set up Ansible Tower. In our case, we are using AWS. I'm just going ahead with my AWS account this time. As I already said, this hands-on and practical notes comes under free tier. Maybe Amazon will prepare a bill for you or invoice for you. So be ready uh, for billing. I'm going ahead with services and let me go to EC2 instances. I want to launch a new virtual machine. I'm going to click on launch instance option. I'm going to give here name. This is for Ansible Tower. Okay. In my case, I want to select the Red Hat this time as per the use case. And we required Red Hat Enterprise Linux as an operating system. And T2 Micro, maybe you can face issue in T2 Micro instance because we required two CPUs and four GB RAM. I'm going for M4 Large. M4 Large, M family, two CPUs, eight GB memory. I want to select this. And let me go to key pair, which is security file. And I'm going ahead with existing security group. In my case, security group is a firewall rules which provide inbound and outbound traffic to virtual machine, application, databases, etc. I want to select my existing security group, launch wizard one. And I'm going for 40 GB storage, EBS, elastic block store. And I need one virtual machine. I'm going to click on launch instances. 
it is showing successfully initiated launch instance this is id either you can click on this id or you can click in the last view or instances i want to directly switch to this instance so that's why i'm going to click on this id now virtual machine is in running state i want to select this virtual machine let me go ahead with public ip address this is this is public ip address let me connect with the help of party session i want to go ahead with ec2 hyphen user at the red ip address now i got to click on plus sign then authentication allow agent forwarding then appearance and then change i want to go ahead with 12 size i got to click on okay i got to click on open and then accept fine first of all i want to show you okay let me go to the nodes and this time we are in hands on so hands on ansible power installation and management So what you required this is prerequisites prerequisites you required uh, m4 large instance and then you required red hat enterprise linux in my case it the operating system uh i need to check it is a 8 version or let me check i think 9 version bundle uh, needs a too much advanced thing let me go and check first operating system etc and then system hyphen release this is red hat 9 so i need 8 version i'm just going to keep you as per our instance it is 9 so let me terminate this virtual machine and i want to launch a new one i'm just going to terminate this virtual machine and let me launch a new virtual machine i would give here name ansible power and then i would select the red hat enterprise linux and from here i would to select red hat enterprise linux 8 was this one So previously I selected nine, and this time I selected Red Hat Enterprise eight version. Okay, so instance type, instance type I want to select M4 as a family M4 large with C two CPUs and eight GB RAM. and keep here i want to select my existing security group is a firewall rules which provide inbound and outbound traffic to virtual machine application databases etc i want to select here let me go ahead with 40 db storage or ebs elastic blob store and i want to launch this instance let me click on this id it will be redirected to that particular virtual machine right now it is in pending state after some time it will come in the running state then we we can connect to this virtual machine i want to select this virtual machine and okay so 
IP address is assigned to this virtual machine I'm going to copy and let me go ahead with partition I'm going ahead with new and ec2 user at the rate IP address I'm going to click on plus sign then authentication allow agent forwarding appearance and then change I want to go ahead with 12 size I'm going to click on ok I'm going to click on ok I'm going to click on excel successfully connected with this virtual machine Let me check uh, operating system detail. I will give here a cat and then etc is a directory uh, which comes under Linux file system, especially for configuration files. And here is a one file system hyphen release file. So we are using here 8.6 credit and files Linux 8.6. So we are going for this virtual machine. So that you can understand well and you can complete in a right way this hands on and practical okay let me go ahead and we require the packages here so uh, okay no package is available here let me go and download the package i'm going back to ppt in a ppt here are multiple links okay let me go to installation and management okay here it is this is for bundle installer i want to go for bundle installer this option i'm going ahead install bundle installer and here is url this url i want to keep in the notes I'm going for this option bundle install okay. so I'm just going to copy this link https colon double forward slash releases dot ansible dot com ansible tower setup let me go to browser I want to use you know each browser and I'm going to press enter you can see libraries bundle libraries you will find multiple versions here in my case i would proceed with 3.6.21 and then for 8 c please don't uh, don't go to any other option because it is related to the compatibility of your operating systems this time it is showing ansible tower setup bundle 3.6 i required so 3.6.2 and 8 this one i need if you are going for uh, any other bundle for red hat enterprise linux 8 maybe you can face issue so as per the compatibility you have to go in this case we are using enterprise linux 8 so you have to go for enterprise linux 8 showing here ansible tower setup bundle 3.6.2-1 enterprise linux 8 version dot tar tar.zz file i am going to right click here copy link address let me go back to the virtual machine i'm going to give clear command for clear screen and i'm going to give wget wget for internet gate or you can download a bundle so you have to paste url right click means a paste and i'm going ahead with wget wget command not found see these all are the small differences in operating system distributions like in aws ec2 virtual machine you would not find this kind of error 
But in Red Hat Enterprise Linux, it is showing command not found. Means wget command is not available in Red Hat Enterprise Linux by default. You have to install this. So before going to run this command, wget and URL to download the bundle, you need to install wget. So you can go ahead with sudo yum install because this package may be available in Linux library. So directly you can install sudo yum install wget hyphen by flip for years confirmation. I'm going to press enter this time. Now process is complete. I want to give clear command for clear screen. I want to press up arrow, up arrow, then up arrow. I want to download this star.zz file. Now process is complete. I want to give ls for listing showing Ansible Tower Setup Bundle 3.6.2 hyphen 1 dot enterprise Linux 8 tar dot cz. I want to extract this file with the help of tar command tar hyphen or directly you can go for extract cz file and then name of the file. Once you are going to extract this file, it will show in blue color directory. So now this is bundle extracted in a blue color directory. I want to go inside this Ansible tower setup bundle hyphen 3.6.2 hyphen 1 with the help of cd command change directory. I will give clear command for clear screen. If I'm going to give here ls, you will find multiple directories as well as files showing here, you know, detail. Backup.yml and bundle group bars installed yml inventory license readme.md file rekey.yml restore.yml roles and set up set up shell script first of all you need to set your credentials you have to go to inventory file and you have to set credentials you can use whatever uh, you are familiar with editor i'm familiar with vm editor and i would go for inventory i would press enter VIM is not found means VIM editor is not available in Red Hat. I'm going to go for sudo yum install and then VIM editor hyphen by VS control. Now process is complete. I'm going to give clear command for clear screen. Again, I want to go ahead with VM editor inventory. I'm going to press enter. Especially, I'm going to focus you on admin password. So you have to set admin password 
and you have to set pg password and you have to set rabbit mq password rabbit mq password so for simplicity i want to go here in admin password i want to press i for insert and let me give here a password for admin this is admin and then password admin password i'm just going to copy the same password let me go to pg password for simplicity you can give a strong password for your environment and a different password for admin and pg password and every day you password but for simplicity uh, to to make easy this environment i'm going for same password admin password and then pg password as a admin password and rabbit mq password as a admin password for simplicity obviously you have to go for a strong password and different password for these three use cases i will save this information fine okay if everything is fine then you can go ahead with shell script setup.sh either you can switch to the root account or directly you can give here a sudo before going to execute your shell script dot forward slash and then setup.sh i want to press enter this time it maybe takes several minutes to be installed 